Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to the channel. Today's Wednesday, Wednesday means Planet Coaster. I almost wanted to say Planet Zoo, but we're doing Planet Coaster today. And today we are continuing our Blizzard Park. And last week we built the entrance and a small flat ride. And our entrance was based around the map um, Blizzard World from the game Overwatch. And today we are going to make a start. And I explicitly say make a start because it's going to be very very much detailed and very long build so for the next coming weeks probably we will be working around Havana and um, Havana you all know from the song Havana Nana I love that song um, my initial thoughts are always pirates when I think of Havana but that's because of Assassin's Creed Black Flag and in Overwatch we also have the map Havana now this, I have to say, um, it is one of my favorite things that I've built so far. So um, I will make sure to put a picture in here if I remember. I, I forgot last time. But if I remember, I will do it this time and I will explain to you what we're doing. So we are building today a shopping street that is on the side of a river or like on water. So we want to make like not really a rock edge because that's not really what it's like in the game. So I use these temple pieces and I think they're from the adventure pack but I'm not sure um, to make like this steep and not sort of like a wall in the water so that the water can't cross there and it actually looks nice. And then on top we are covering up the ground with these temple pieces as well. And we are just laying it out there, laying it flat. And I have to say, I absolutely love it. I think it looks really cute. Also, with the colors we used, I wanted to do this little, you know, Latin America vibe, sort of Caribbean style as well. And I think I actually succeeded in that quite well. And I have to be, you know, I have to be honest in that. I think I succeeded in that pretty well. So, um, this part, it is already 25 minutes long. That's pretty long for a video. I mean, usually I make videos around the 15 to 20 minute mark. Um, this is quite a bit longer and I apologize for that, but I hope you will still watch it anyways because I really enjoyed it and I enjoy making it and I will show all the process that I did and like every single detail, it's in here. Like last week I cut it out, but looking back at the video, I thought it was going a little bit fast. And I was like, well, you know, if people just started playing Planet Coaster, they wouldn't be able to follow uh, the video and that would be kind of a shame. So here we are doing it a little bit slower. So the rock work that I'm doing now is like normal rock and I'm trying to make it look like it was natural rock in the water, like along the coastline. And I think I did that quite well. So once we've finished that, we are now going to make a start on our buildings. And we are going to use the lime pieces for this. They're simple because, you know, they have those little bits of the rock texture that I like. And they're colorable. Especially that they're colorable. I love things that I can color. So, you know, that's very important. I love it. And here you see me like we're using with, um, we're working with different layers. So we're going to have a front layer and a back layer. And that's simply because the grid allows that, which I'm very happy about. So the grid is like a tiny little square and you can place um, items inside of the square and just outside of the square. So the actual archway is out of the square and the inner wall is in the square. And then you get this nice layering and then we are going to make this a shopping street. So hence the shopping windows and we are going to put some shops in there as well. We are going to have a kitchen of like so many, so, so, so many shops in there. Like it's ridiculous, but you know what? We're gonna do it anyways because it's a shopping street and i know that we had like a lot of shops in the beginning anyways but you know i feel like theme parks um they have a lot of shops more than zoos and you know i'm big on planet zoo and i want to get more like the hang of planet coaster and i don't want to say that i want to make this um theme park realistic because it is absolutely not realistic and that is fine but I do want to keep some parts um, a little bit more like in real life. So in real life, you would have like some of these streets and like full of shops, like like Disney World. Like when you go to Disneyland Paris, there are so many shops. It's ridiculous, like absolutely ridiculous. I went to Disneyland last year. Absolutely love the theming. The coasters, not that much because they're kind of like small kiddie coasters and I didn't really like them. 
um, I feel like it was hyped up way more than it actually was and it kind of felt bad and but the theming so so amazing like you can really learn something from that but then again you know it's quite expensive but the theming in Disneyland it's amazing so theming wise I wanted to keep a little bit closer to that and saying that like I know these shops aren't the heavily themed like shops ever they're quite simple you know they're just um, tucked in the building and that's it really but I do love it and that's just probably uh, personal and just me I know there will be people who don't like it and to them I'm saying you will you know what I don't care because it's my building and I like it and that's what's important and that's what counts so we are just going to like the building is not done okay let's just say that it's not done yet and we all know that that's fine as well um, after all this we are going to add more details to all the buildings at the same time Ooh, saying that um, these buildings are in blueprint style available like the entire entire shopping street is uploaded to my steam workshop um, the link is in the description down below so you can go and check that out there are also more things on my steam workshop like planet coaster related planet zoo related so if you see anything you like just download it feel free i don't care like it's there for people to use and I already saw some people using it in their park and I was like, oh, that's my shopping street. And it feels really weird to like have people use your creation in their game. I'm like, whoa, that's my creation. I'm like, it kind of felt like people were stealing my creation. And then obviously like they were not, they were just using it and that's completely fine. But I was just, for a moment, I was shocked. I was like, whoa, did people actually enjoy my creation? Was it really that good? Am I going to be like a professional Planko builder in a few weeks? To be fair, that would be amazing. Like um, just joining the Planko team or like the Plan Planet Zoo team as like an example builder, that's the dream. To be honest like that, that's really the dream, I'd love that. Anywho, I had the details. So um, we are using a lot of temple pieces. I feel like the temple pieces, they're uh, like gridless, which I absolutely love. And there's also a lot of detail in them, and I, I love detail. So you now obviously we just have to use that, and that's completely fine as well. And I feel like temple pieces in style, maybe when you hear like Havana and tropical Caribbean style, you don't automatically think um, temple pieces, neither did I, but I've went through the entire catalog. I kid you not, I went through every single item in the catalog and I was just like, okay, what's in there what's in there what can i use and i put like a bunch of items out there that i possibly could use and um the temple pieces came out best so you know that that's just that oh yeah no um this is heavily on piece count i feel like the all the blueprints well, all these shopping streets together it almost was i believe 3100 pieces and that's just um you know luck because after this building i stopped building the sides and the backs of the building and like obviously they have a side in the back but they're not as heavily detailed they're just walls basically you know pro tip only build what you can see like it's no use in building this entire detailed backside if the guests aren't going to walk there and they're not i mean like the only thing well the only people that are going to walk there is the staff and you know i love my staff but they don't need a heavily themed backside they just don't that's also completely not realistic so if you do happen to download this um, don't expect heavily themed back sides of buildings also most of the buildings don't have actually uh, a roof because the guests can't see that and if the guests can't see it um, I felt no need of actually putting it in the game so the only building that has a roof is the one there on the side and not that the guests can see that, but you know you know what I mean. Like that was the first building I made, and then after that I was like, wait, this is going to be very heavy on my piece count. That might not be the best idea. So, you know, there is that. And I absolutely, you know, I love I love the way that this shopping street actually comes together in the end, especially when we put some benches down and we put some uh tropical palm trees. It's just it's gonna look amazing. Just trust me on that. At the moment, you know, I'm building it and I'm thinking, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. This is very weird colors, not like I imagined it to be. And then, you know, I was looking at it and I was like, well, you know, this is either going to be a tremendous win or a tremendous, like, fail. Those are the options. I like to believe that it was a, uh, a win. 
I really do. I quite liked it and I'm, I'm quite proud of it as well. You know, but I think everyone says that about their own creations, especially when you um, just start building in Planet Coaster or in any game, as a matter of fact. You know, when you just start in a game, you create your first thing, you're like, wow, I'm amazing. I could be like a professional game developer, you know, like building the example buildings for this game. I would be so good at that, so much better than other people. And I feel like every person thinks that. And I also feel like every person just knows um, that eventually that's not going to happen. <laughs> but that, you know, that's fine. I like to believe that I'm pretty good as well. And then maybe in a few months I'll look back at the shopping street and I'm like, oh my gosh, did I really use the same details for every single building? That is so unrealistic. But to be fair, I feel like it really looks pretty realistic because we have difference in heights and widths of all the buildings. And I felt like, you know what, that's actually, you know, pretty common. So there you see, I didn't build the, uh, like the left side and the back side of this building because it's not necessary. You don't need to build that. We all know no one is going to watch, like, look at it, so it's it's fine. Can we just say how much time this took me? I had all my footage and just this shopping street took me almost four hours. And I really don't know why. And I guess maybe that's one of the reasons why it actually um, looks pretty decent. I mean, I, I spent a lot of time in it. And I feel like people, um, they like to compare Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo. And I do feel like that with Planet uh, Zoo, I'm a lot faster with building because I know what I want and, you know, I know all the pieces. But also, um, for some reason, I don't feel the need to detail as heavily in Planet Zoo. And I probably should. Because, you know, Planet Zoo is basically... I don't want to say a better version of Planet Coaster because they're completely different. But, you know what I mean, like, it's, it's better but a different concept. I feel like Planet Coaster uh, 2 would be amazing. So like the Planet Coaster like this, only then with the graphics and the controls of Planet Zoo. But that's a utopia we're probably never going to uh, reach. But I was making a point at the beginning of this as, well, a little segue, rant, whatever you want to call it, but I don't remember it. I really don't. So this video is coming from the first week of January. I hope you all had a lovely um, end of the year day, you know, New Year's Day, even though I said it in my Planet Zoo video last week. I still hope you do. I hope you, you know, I hope it's better than 2020. It's now 2021. Usually I always feel really uh, weird about the changing of the years. And that's not because, you know, like, um, you hold yourself new goals and all that is when i write down things like i write down the year because you know i'm a teacher and i have to write down a lot of dates every single day i usually still write the last year but because 2020 was such a terrible year i'm just immediately like used to writing 2021 i'm like oh that's weird i'm not completely used to this this is kind of strange but i also kind of like it and that's a really strange feeling but you know um I guess I'm not the only person that has that. Now also new goals. People always have like, um, I don't know what to call it in English. In Dutch we call it uh, goede voornemens, which basically, uh, well basically, what the heck was that? Basically, um, I don't really know the translation for that. I mean, we can look it up, right? Okay, let me just um, Google translate this. You can uh, watch the video in the meantime. Good intentions. Google Translate says good intentions, but I'm guessing that's not the actual correct, like the um, like wording for that. But whatever. I don't really do those because I feel like you know if you want to change, you can do it on any uh, type of day. It doesn't really necessarily need to be the first day of the year. But then again, you know a lot of people do that. And they're like, oh, what are your premonitions? Is it premonitions? No. Good intentions. I'm just gonna go with good intentions, even though I feel like that's flawed, but whatever. I don't really make them. Like every year, of course, you have like the same, like, ooh, I'm going to eat more healthy. And then it's the 2nd of January, you're like, yeah, I'll start tomorrow. So I'm not even bothering with even trying that as a premonition. It's not a premonition. I keep forgetting it. What the heck? This is such 
I should have prepared this because I like I intended to talk about this and I totally forgot to look it up. I swear it's not good intentions. Okay, if anyone in the chat is English or American or knows it, let me know because I can't let it go anymore. I need to know. Maybe I should be less of a know-it-all. Ah, we all know that's not gonna happen. Ooh, I do know what I want to do this year. Um, I want to want to learn another language. That's what I want. Yes, and it's probably going to be Japanese because I love I love Japan. I've wanted to go to Japan like ever since I was eight, I believe, or ten, probably ten, when I saw like a documentary on it, and I was like, wow, that looks so pretty. I want to go there. And then you know it's very far away and very expensive and very unfortunate like you can never ever go there and then you know you plan to go there and you're you realize like wow okay everything is in japanese in japan there are no english signs so i should probably learn japanese and then you try to learn japanese through anime and you're like well i can say some sentences now but that's probably nowhere near enough so you know, I, I've started, um, actually did that, yeah, that started on Monday. You know, the boot, I was a boot camp, there's like this online, um, it's in Dutch, like this uh, boot camp for learning Japanese and then they, it's free, luckily. And then you can see if it's actually, you know, something for you. So I'm, I'm going to do that and then if I like it, I am going to buy the course as well and I'm learning Japanese. And who knows, maybe uh, next year I will go to Japan. Actually, I planned it for in 2020, but you know, um, very obvious reasons that didn't happen. So I'm hoping either this year or next year that I can actually go and that would be amazing. You know, but it probably won't because I really don't have the expectation that 2021 will be any better than 2020. And that's a very pessimistic thought, I know that, but you know, I call it realistic. We will see how this year goes. Like we'll we'll see, we'll notice. And if it does go any like if it does go better than 2020, it will, you know, be lovely and I will graciously accept it, but you know, I hardly think that it's going to. But whatever. Anyway. We are now working on Almost the last building after this we're only doing a red building, but I cut that out because you know it was same old same old plus the build was getting pretty long this video like it's already really long like it's 25 minutes and then you know I have to do the cinematics still there so it probably will be around 26 27 minutes that's so long if you're still watching this bravo like kudos to you good job and thank you <laughs> Also, like, my, my goal of last year when I started YouTube was like, well, you know, I want to edit some videos and then it went better. And then in December I was at 80 followers, I think. And I was like, well, you know, it, it would be pretty amazing if we could hit 100 before the new year. And we actually hit 100 sus subscribers before even Christmas, which was a lovely Christmas present. So thank you, guys. And this year um, I'm hoping to go to the 200. And I hope, like, we're at, at the moment I'm recording this, we're at 106. And that's pretty freaking amazing, like, 106 people watching me. That's insane. Like, that's really insane. And when I look at the, um, you know, the YouTube studio, and I look at the percentages of people that watch my video, my videos actually get um, relatively good views. I mean, like, I never imagined people even watching my videos, so I'm, I'm just happy up overall. I'm really excited about it as well. I'm kind of nervous because people are like watching my content and I'm like, well, is it good enough? Are you enjoying it? Do I need to do anything different? So like on a serious note, if you do feel like I need to do anything different, let me know and I can see if I can make that happen. That sounded really weird to see if I can make it happen, but then at least like I know if there's something you like, you didn't like, it's probably gonna be like, I talk too much, but you know, that's a known problem. I like uh, when I start talking, I can't stop. That's uh, it's a gift and a curse because sometimes you know people want to chat and I'm like, nope, I'm talking now, so you can't talk. Oh yeah, this is what I meant with finishing off all the buildings. So we're placing these planters. Just I feel like it gives it a little bit more of a Caribbean sort of vibe. Also the red building, I love it with the little white accents. Absolutely love it. It's so cute and I absolutely adore it. Ah yeah, and this building uh, and the, the red and the green building are fully detailed because, you know, 
um, those are buildings you see from every single site. And I think I detailed the yellow building as well. And here we are placing the lights because we do want it to look pretty um, in the night as well. And I feel like it actually does with the light. It is, well, it's sort of similar to um, the lightning that's the lightning, well, the lighting that we used in the Blizzard World section. You know, those were a little bit more orange, those are a little bit, these are more yellow. And then above the shops, um, we are placing white lights. Just, you know, to give it a hint of, look, here is my shop. You can buy things here. And these lights are pretty darn modern, but you know what? Um, I still liked it. And I feel like it's it sort of matches, like in a weird way. Enjoy it, I enjoy it. And obviously you don't need the light at the toilet. So here we are, um, actually next episode we are going to finish it. In a moment we are going to start on our big castle. And in our castle, you know, we are going to lay the grounds for that right now. So mark off the territory, sort of speaking. And naturally I make this way, 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 way too big, but we all know that, so. Um, we are going to make a dark ride in here. Now, I have never made a dark ride, so if you have any tips or tricks up your sleeve, please let me know. I am, at the moment, I'm like looking up videos on YouTube, like how to make good dark rides. What are things, how do I, how do I make tracker sequences in Planet Coaster? Because I don't know. So we are going to build like, uh, the castle. I say like the castle, but a castle, because this, um, park will probably have a lot of castles. Probably a lot, a lot, a lot, because you know I need to build one again with the in the chateau area, and then the you no know, chateau literally means castle, and then I have to build another one at the uh, black forest area. So um, castles more than enough, and like, I, I hope that I can make them all look a little bit different. But this castle will be more of a um, pirate fortress, sort of say. And I feel like this dark ride uh, it should either be like Haunted Mansion-like, but I don't feel like that's completely the vibe. Maybe it should be more of a scary pirate theme. Let me know what you think. I feel like scary pirate theme would sort of work with the environment as well, because, you know, Havana pirates. Yeah. I feel like that should work. I feel like we're probably doing that. Yeah. I guess we're doing that. I mean, I haven't decided yet, but, you know, it sounds good. And again here, you know, placing those rocks, just like closing off the area. And then in a minute, we are going to go to the castle. And we are going to, again, work with the lime pieces because they have that rock texture. And we are going to start off with uh, two towers. And those two towers will be like the, on the entrance um, for our actual castle. And then if you want to go to the entrance of the dark ride, you have to go under the bridge and then up some stairs. I've already like folded it out. It is already there as well. I didn't put it in this build. Um, I believe it will be in the next parts. Like the next part will be completely like uh, theming and making the rides. Also with the track. We are doing the Huntsman. And I've never worked with that. Because you know I'm relatively new to Planet Coaster. So I'm, I'm curious to see what it is. But I'm also curious to like see if you guys feel like this kind of looks like a pirate fortress. You know, I want, when I was building this, I sort of had to think of Pirates of the Caribbean with uh, Port Royal. I was like, yeah, it's kind of similar. It looks relatively the same. We're probably just, you know, gonna do it like that. Now we are keeping some, um, like, it looks a little bit weird right now because there's absolutely no theming and it's just, you know, bare walls and nothing else. But in the end, it will look better than this. I promise you that. And you know, the end is not this video. We will continue this next video. And I, I hope that it just, you know, it works out the way I planned it in my mind. That's, that's mostly the problem. You know, I think of something and I'm like, yes, that's what it's supposed to be. And then, you know, um, turns out completely different because I can't figure it out. But that's like the story of my life. So, you know, whatever. Ah, uh, yes, here we are, you know, figuring it out again. I just, I can't get enough of, like, me trying to struggle with this. This part of the video, of the actual recording, took me, like, almost an hour, and it was just, oh my gosh, can I just hurry up? Wow. 
Anyways, we are close to the end of the video. So if you are still watching this, like, thank you. And if you are watching this and you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, a like, comment, subscribe. You can also hit the bell icon so you get notified for my next video. And next week we are hopefully finishing the dark rides and otherwise we will do that in two weeks. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you have a very good uh, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in this world. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.